Hi, Gail. This is Crystal. Can you hear me? Crystal, I can. Okay, great. I am doing this on my phone, so bear with me okay. as I figure out my settings here to make you a host. Meeting settings. I have not done this on my phone in a long time. I'm impressed you're able to do it on your phone. <laughs> And I called and left a message for you because my computer had chosen five minutes ago to decide to do an update. So please disregard, oh. the, disregard the message you got from me. Okay, you must have been like the 203 number from Danbury. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know anyone in Danbury. That's no, what my phone don't. said it was. Well, you don't, but you do. It's my, it, I took over my son's account and it, I, I am in Cape. They will not let me change the location, so. My calls always. Oh wow! My calls always show up as Donnie White, Danbury, Connecticut. Really? Yeah, and he wow. has. I'd have to. I'd have to close his account and open up a new account, even though I've officially taken over as the admin. But I would have to close that account, and I have such a good rate, so <laughs> for my Verizon account that I do not want to lose it. So I just tell people, I'll, no. be, I'll be calling you and it'll show up as Donnie White. <laughs> yep. I might have to open another window and Google how to, how to switch the host um, from a phone because I'm not seeing it. Okay, take your time. Yeah, let me open a window. Helps me how to do it from an Android phone. That doesn't help me. Tap participants. Tap the name of the participant. Okay, that makes sense. Let me try this. Participants. Gail. Make host. Do you want to change the host? Yes. Okay, Gail. Mm -hmm. I think you are now it. the host. Yep, I've got it. Okay, so I think I can now leave the meeting and you will be, you're the host and you're good to go. I'm good to go. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome, have a great have time a, in Maine. Thank okay. you, Monday when I get back to work, I will um, down, I'll upload this to um, the town YouTube channel and send you a link. Okay, sounds great, thank All you. Right. Have a good night, you're welcome. Bye. Bye.
just a moment. Hello? Hi, Gail. Hi there. Oof. Looks like at the moment we're the only ones on, but I am anticipating others will join us. Let me just make an adjustment. Right, I can see you now. Okay. I'm just trying to check something on my Let's start it. I'm trying to find something in my in my notes. We should have um I said I'm expecting two members so we should be fine for your hearing good and you were able to uh receive the drawing that uh, susan sent yeah i have that good good okay here's one of them who can't get the zoom address all right give me a moment uh, i'm going to um i'm gonna just Block my turn off my video for a moment, but I'm still here and you're still logged on. Okay. That should take care of one, and then hopefully the other will come on.
We just have to be patient. No, that's okay. <laughs> have you been meeting with Zoom? Uh, Regularly, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, is it just since the, uh, the since COVID the, or? Yeah, just since, that? well, since COVID, yes. Yeah. yeah. There's Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? Good, good. We're waiting on um, Earl, so. Okay. And I'm just sending him in case he also needs this, the address in case it didn't come through on. Yeah, um, I didn't get it for some reason, so. Um... I, it was at the bottom of the agenda. <laughs> it's all. Yeah, okay. But in case it's not. I'm sending this to him because there's only, okay. as far as I know, there's only the two, the three of us. I'll just go this way. In gallery. Okay. Check my email again. Make sure he hasn't emailed me. All options are there. Earl, is that you on iPad 4? Okay, let's try something else. I'm going to um, mute and see if I can't call him. Okay. That's such a pretty photograph. <laughs> it is a pretty photograph, isn't it? <laughs> I always like her background and her and her Zoom too. Uh -huh. it's, all, it's always, whether it's winter or it's fall, it's beautiful. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you mean out her windows? Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Her vista is gorgeous. <laughs> Have you been on the commission for very long? Uh, since last, I'd say about a year, I guess. No, mm -hmm. about, about a year. How, how about you? Well, I'm, I'm just a visitor. Yeah. Oh, you're, that's right. You are. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, <Yes>. okay. <laughs> no, I, I, no, about a year. I mean, I've been 
active in um, I'm I'm in the historic uh, district. I live there, so uh -huh. um, it's just kind of nice to be involved and be part of it and have be able to have a say in things. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. exactly, exactly. <laughs> and we like to, as a rule, have at least two have two of the members of the commission as representatives of the district itself. And then we try and spread the rest of the membership over um, over the other areas of, of Woodstock. Mm -hmm. so he, he's coming. Oh, good. And my that scene I had up was of Wales, Snowdonia National Park. It was, it was beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. very did nice. You take the photograph. Uh, nope, my daughter-in-law did. The uh -huh. son and daughter-in-law live over there. And, oh, do they? Uh huh. And nice. periodically, I get these wonderful photographs. Yeah. Have you visited? Yes. Yeah. Nice. nice. Not for a while, but I know, I know. <laughs> the world is opening up again, so maybe, maybe, yes. If we get on a plane. <laughs> yeah, not so easy these days. No. Oh, well, I'll tell you, I I flew down to Florida for for uh, two days last week, and I had an eight-hour delay both times. No. Oh. Eight what? hours. I got in at oh. three o'clock in the morning in Florida and three in Bradley. Wow. I heard a woman being interviewed the other night uh, and she missed her, was it her sister's? Her sister's wedding because of delays. Uh, are you, are you there, Earl? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Earl? Okay, I, he's shows him is here. I can screen There's chat. You are set for your meeting? Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, there you are. Just about to send you a chat to say. Yeah, you? I, I don't know if I can get on the screen, but I have the sound. So okay. that'll have to do. Okay. Um, who's who's present? Just so I know that. So we have. Um, so Karen is here. Okay. You are here. So we're the only two members. We're the three members of the commission. Okay. David Johnson is here, representing the Evangelical Church. Okay. And um, there is one other person here, unidentified. Okay, that's fine. And let's see if I can see. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, I don't know. The the camera piece is at your end, not mine. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, I've never had trouble before, but I don't want to do anything to uh, lose the sound. I can at least do that. Yeah, all, right. all right. So we won't. Let's see. Karen's a full member, so we won't be appointing any alternates. Um, first thing up will be the public hearing. So uh, the legal notice is that uh, the Woodstock Historic District Commission will hold a public hearing on June 22nd, 2022 for, at 6.30 p.m. for the Woodstock Evangelical Covenant Church new sign. And David, um, I believe I sent, I sent, and I'm not sure you all were able to get it, but I did send it there. Did you see their picture of the sign that yeah. I sent? All right. I, I did. I got it too. All right, good. Good. Um, so um David, what we and we you were in with Susan to discuss it um at a previous meeting. So we really understand what you're doing. If you would one of the things that wasn't included, um, I don't think. Oh yes. Yeah, I just if you would just give us um, the dimensions of the sign. Right. Okay. Um, 
the main sign, which I think is the one you're referring to, yeah. is uh, 72 inches by 30 inches, 30 and three quarters inches. And the what? overall, the overall width, including the posts, which are four inch, four by four inch posts, um, would be 80 inches. So that's six feet, eight inches. And the present sign that we're replacing, and which, which includes the posts as well, is eight foot, three inches. Oh, okay. So it's a so little it's, bit- So it is, smaller. A, it's smaller. Smaller, right. Okay. Now, one concern that, that uh, you were expressing at the last meeting was the lighting. And what we have decided is just to eliminate lighting. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic that goes by on Child Hill Road at night. And uh, right. so we're just not going to light, uh, illuminate. Okay. okay. So we're just, um, we're just hearing the, uh, for, the, for the main sign and also for the two, two additional, two smaller signs or one smaller sign? Well, it's one small sign. That's the hanging sign that's right. on the corner of the common. Mm -hmm. And that uh, the dimensions for that are um, 30 inches by 22 inches. And that material is going to be aluminum composite, which is uh, like a sandwich material, aluminum on both sides with polyethylene in the center. It's uh, the material that the company uses. Um, it doesn't warp. It, uh, it, they speak well of it. Is that for the small sign? Yes, and that'll be a two-sided sign, so it can be seen from both directions. And it'll be hung on the same through the current post, correct? We're actually replacing the post because the post that's there is, is pretty worn, but it's going to be exactly the same dimensions. So the post for the small sign will be the same connect, the same as the current one. Correct. Size. Okay. And what's the material of the big sign? That is PVC, one inch thick PVC. Uh, it'll have uh, like uh, support or strapping on the back of the sign, which can't be seen uh, from the road. As a matter of fact, it'll be painted white like the sign. So it, even from when you're stepping out of the church doors there, it, it won't even be... Uh, um, particularly no, noticeable. noticeable, right? Okay. So right next door is the community they have gone into the Right. I know. Yeah. Um, Karen and Earl, questions for David about additional questions about his sign signs. Uh, no, it all seems consistent with the earlier discussion we had, and um, I like it. Mm -hmm. I do too. I think it looks very, uh, it looks classy. At the same time, it looks very traditional. And um, I think it's honestly a nice, a nice compliment. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, thank you. Um, um, uh, I think you'll be pleased, you know, what, uh, what we're trying to do is, is, uh, is just what you've said, keep it clean, just the material, the information that needs to be there and uh, classic and the carved letters, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty nice looking. Yeah, we should, uh, Earl, we should add that to the, the notes about the description. Okay, that, what, that it's classic appearance? No, no, the carved letters. Oh, the carved letters, yeah. Okay. And, and also the carved border, um, which will be a medium gray. The letters themselves will be black and the field is white. So the border is also carved? Yes. Nice. Yeah. No, it's I, uh, my opinion is very, very tastefully done. Um, I really, I like it a lot. So, thank you. Okay. 
That's all I have. Mm -hmm. um, if there's no further questions for David, then I'll take a motion to close the public hearing. I make a motion to close the public hearing. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, all right. Commission members discussion. <clears throat> we have any additional concerns? Um, sounds like we're in, it, we're, we're consistently approved um, in approval of the um, the proposed signs. <laughs> yep, I would I would make a motion to approve as proposed. And I will second it. Good. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Same. No. Motion carried. David, it's all, you're all set. Good. Uh, Wonderful. I'll fill it out and get it to you and, and send it to the town hall as well. Um, thanks for, for taking so much careful time in coming up with a design that I think is really suitable for the district. And, uh, and I think it's gonna be a nice improvement on your existing sign. Yeah, well, the existing sign is fading and kind of falling apart, so it, <laughs> it needs to be replaced. And I think, as Karen said, makes a really uh, elegant and, and refined statement there and as on the one of the anchoring um, ends of the, the town green and the district. So yeah. very, very nice. And you, you put a lot of work into coming up with, with a nice design. So we appreciate the effort that you put into it. Very good. Well, thank you. And uh, it's been good meeting with you. Uh, even though I'm not good at the Zoom thing. <laughs> fine, fine. You never know. Never know. <laughs> than I today. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks okay. very much, David. Thank you. Bye, David. Goodbye. Now right. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> Leave me. My, <laughs> my daughter is here to help, so I'll get her. <laughs> okay. right. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Review of minutes. Um, if you had a chance to review the minutes. Then I'll take a motion to approve. Thanks again, Earl, for putting them together. You're welcome. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from last month. I'll second it. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Correspondence. <laughs> uh, my correspondence was with Susan Sherman and David Johnson concerning their public hearing. Um, I uh, sent a letter to um, the rusty relic regarding their outstanding issues and requesting that they um, submit an application for our July meeting. And those outstanding issues were the gate and the um, specifically the gate, the porch and the ramp. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked for an update on the rain garden and they said they were working on it and trying to get that going. Um, I sent uh, an email to Chase Lassard, um, who up on the, a couple of houses down from you, Karen, who was taking the siding off. Yes. On yes. House just to check and, and see if there were any changes going on and it was just a straight replacement. Right, right. right. So that's, nothing that we need to worry about. Um, I commend them. They're doing it themselves, too. They're up there um, yeah, they are, almost daily. They are very, very hard workers. And they, they are. They've they are. made a lot of nice, nice, sensitive, careful improvements already yeah. to the house since they moved in. Yes, they have. Um, Roseland Cottage has installed its um, accessibility step and handrail. If you have a chance to swing by and take a look, it's a really nice, good installation and, and a very easy way of helping steps up into the, into the house itself for visitors without mm -hmm. being overwhelming. Right. And then also Woodstock Historical Society wanted to let us know that they've taken up the dangerous half brick walkway that was in front of the historical society. All the bricks were um, up on uh, pointing up and sticking up and made for a very uneven walkway. So they've taken it up temporarily. They don't know how long the temporary will be, 
because they've discovered structural problems with the 1916 front steps. And so they've got to, have, so they just said that there's no point in trying to put something down that's only going to get probably chewed up when they're trying to fix the front mm -hmm. steps. So it is up until they can come up with a cohesive plan for repair to the steps and then installation of the of a new walkway. So that's the extent of my court of our correspondence for this past month. Yeah. Um, is there any public comment or project consultations? Nope. All right. Old business. Uh, I think the the outstanding business we had was with basically with Rusty Relic, and that hopefully will get resolved in July. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any other old business that we should attend to? New business. I have nothing new to introduce at this time. Karen, do either you or Earl have something? No. Okay. I don't. No. Then at this point, um, does anybody, let's see, the member of the public who's here have any comment to add? All right. And I'll, I'll get the minutes out within four days, four business days, because Good. there was a public hearing. So. Right. So if they can be there, say, aim for Monday. Yep. That'd be good. Sure. Excellent. Um, and I will, um, Crystal said that she will have the Zoom link to add to it. She's away through until Monday. So okay. we'll um, send me on Monday the Zoom link of the recording. Okay. So okay. As soon as I get it, I'll, I'll send it to you, Earl, and we, you can add it to the minutes and then submit them. Okay. Sounds good. Great. And if there's nothing else, then I'll take a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No proposed abstaining. Then we are done. Thank you for, for attending. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, have a nice rest of June. When, have uh, a, <laughs> and a good Fourth of July. And I will. Yeah. Of July. And we'll see you um, at, uh, look for my calendar, plan on, I would. I think at this point, just kind of pencil in that we, I expect that we'll have a public hearing on July 27th. 27th. Okay. So um, uh, that's, that would be anticipated that we'll, we'll have the public hearing for Rusty Relic on the 27th. Okay. okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Thanks very much. Have All right. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.